Hey guys, Old Guy Gaming here, back again with another MTG Arena video. Happy New Year 2019. Here we go. Should be an interesting year. And what better way to start off the new year by showing off some Christmas presents. Now, I'm going to be playing today on my son's account because for Christmas, we happen to get my son one of these. That is the Raw Planeswalker deck. And when you get the Raw Planeswalker deck, you get one of those. That is going to be the card that allows you to play the full deck inside MTG Arena. I think this is a this is a fantastic trend. Uh, I hope that Wizards continues to do this. I would like to see things like, oh, I don't know. I don't know if I want them to go down the route of um, Pokemon, where there's a card in every pack that you buy that you can redeem online. But I could see something like a, a buy a box bonus where if you purchase a box um, of booster box that you would also get a card that you could redeem for 36 packs inside arena i could see something like that because as far as cost is concerned doesn't cost wizards anything to produce those at all and i think it does uh a lot to help the uh, the arena community so let's go ahead and get into the contents of this deck and we'll see what's in it so like i said i am playing on my son's account because it is technically his deck not mine not happy about that because <laughs> i wanted one anyway so there's a whole bunch of uh, interesting common cards that get tossed into this one maximize altitude plus one plus one gives a creature flying you're going to see a ton of spells and a lot of the creatures inside this um key off of you um casting spells so planes will add up whenever it comes to, you can make one creature unblockable this will get handy here with some of the bigger creatures that come in later uh, whenever it attacks, target opponent gets opponent creature gets minus two minus zero until end of turn. Could be fun. Uh, the fire urchin one three trample. <laughs> whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, it gets plus one plus zero until end of turn. So you could potentially make this really really big. Goblin electromancer is a staple in a lot of the is it decks. Uh, it basically makes all of these uh, spells cast one colorless less. Leapfrog has flying as long as you cast a, <laughs> a spell this turn. Interesting card. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm still getting over that cold. Uh, direct Current does two damage to any target. Uh, this is a, a, a draft uh, uh, all-star as far as I'm concerned. Fearless Halberdier, it's a 3-2. It's a Planeswalker deck. What do you want? Uh, you are going to have some of these creatures that are just basically pointless and don't fit into the, the theme. Precision Bolt does three damage to any target. Uh, it is three for basically the same thing that a Lightning Strike does. So, but it is a sorcery, not an instant. So, I mean, again, they can do okay in draft, but it does have Rawl in the art, so I can see the tie-in. Sonic Assault, one tar tap target creature. Sonic Assault deals two damage to that creature's controller, and it is a jumpstart one, so you can cast it again from your graveyard by discarding a card. We Dragonauts, uh, get plus two, plus zero whenever you cast an instant or sorcery. They are currently a 1-3 flyer, but they can get bigger. Chemicers, uh, Chemistry's Insight, fantastic card. Draw two cards, and then it has jumpstart as well. And we still have more to dig through. <laughs> uh, the Muse Drake, uh, when it comes into play, you draw a card. The Erratic Cyclops, whenever you cast an instant or source of spill, it gets plus X plus zero. So end of turn, where X is that convert spells converted mana cost. It is a zero eight trample, so it could get potentially big. Um, Rebel Boar, again, gets plus two plus zero at the end of turn. Whenever another creature gets plus two plus zero at the end of turn, whenever it comes into play. Uh, this is Rao Stratocaster. This is one of the cards that is unique specifically to the Planeswalker decks. 3-3 uh, three, three Trample, and when Rao uh, Stratocaster attacks, if you control Rao's Planeswalker, Rao Stratocaster gets plus one, plus zero for each card in your hand at that point. So, could be cool. Uh, Omni Spell Adept. Uh, you may cast an instant sorcerer's for pain without paying its mana cost. Maybe. <laughs> if you have some of the bigger... But I don't see any big instant or sorcery spells in the deck. <laughs> Like, all of them cost three or less, so he really feels sort of pointless in this deck, but hey, whatever. Uh, another one that's unique to the, the deck itself, it is uh, Ralph's Dispersal. Uh, return target creature to owner's hand, and you may search your library and or graveyard for a card named Raul Star <laughs> Collar of Storms. Reveal it and put it into your hand. And this is an easy way to get the one Planeswalker that's in the deck into your hand. Command the Storm deals five damage to a target creature. 
Uh, Hellkite Welp does a, is a flying 3-3 uh, flyer. Whenever Hellkite would attacks, it deals 1 damage to target creature defending player controls. And then, of course, there's Rawl himself. Rawl, Color of Storms. Uh, he is a 4 loyalty, 6 mana cost uh, Planeswalker. His plus 1 is draw a card. His minus 2 is deals 2 damage divide any one number of targets, 1, 2, or 3 targets that you like. And then his ultimate is draw 7 cards and Rawl Stormkiller deals 7. Uh, sto st blah, blah, blah. Try that again. Draw 7 cards. Rawl. Collar of Storms deals 7 damage to each creature your opponent controls. So that is a pretty decent ultimate if you can get it to come off. Um, 10 Islands, 12 Mountains, and 2 copies of each different artwork for the Guild Gates. <sighs> so let's go ahead and try it out. We're going to try this in standard play. Obviously this is not a competitive deck in any way, shape, or form. So we are just going to go play some open play with Rawl. And my son can thank me later for all of the stuff I'm going to complete for him today. So how was your New Year's? Uh, hopefully everyone had a, a happy and safe New Year's Eve. Uh, that was what I'm hopefully going to accomplish. Uh, we never do anything super special. We have four kids, so the, the most special thing that we end up doing is banging pots and pans on the front porch at midnight. So hopefully you're all out there. I am noticing that in the standard play, it takes a lot longer for matchmaking, which tells me uh, one of two things. Either A, there aren't a lot of people just playing open play, which I can't honestly believe because it's a perfect place to go out and test decks. Um, the second option, of course, is that because it's a Planeswalker deck, it's having a real difficult time matchmaking me with somebody else. We Dragonauts, Electromancer. Oh, this could actually be a pretty interesting hand to start off with. I'll keep that. We will be a gentleman and say hello. Uh, drop that one. All creatures, no spells. Interesting. So I can't even take advantage. Ooh, done. Oh, oh, this is gonna be a life game deck. I'm not so sure how well we're gonna do. We do have our first spell though. Unfortunately, it's. Five to cast. Where is this person? Uh, I'm thinking. Yeah, let's see how he does. Nope, we're good. I think I might go. Depending on what he lays down next. Hmm. He might actually come in handy against that Corsair. Even more later. Never mind. I know what I'm taking out. <laughs> um, so I really, really, really need to cast this, and the war leader is gonna go. Away. Debating my next move here. I sort of like Wee Dragonauts to kind of counteract the uh, healer socks that are going to be inevitably in his deck. I'll take the one. That's okay. Sure. Come on. <laughs> you know you want to. He changed his mind. Ooh, the whelp. Uh, let's go, we Dragonauts. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to do that. Sure. Hmm. I prefer to kill a creature. He is going to kill this thing. However, I prefer to get his cleric off the board. Works for me. I legitimately don't <laughs> have any high aspirations for how well the deck's going to do.
Three two could come in handy. He is really thinking about this. I apologize if I'm going to drink during the course of the video. I'm still kind of getting over this cold thing, so like I've got a really sore throat. Sarah Guardian. Mm -mm -mm. No, I've got a hold. I <laughs> really want to know where all of those spells are in this deck. Sarah Angel. Really prefer the old art on this one, but the cool new art's cool too. Other creatures you control have vigilance. That is going to be a problem. No, I'm going to have to take it, at least for now. <laughs> Why would it give me anything I need? The only thing I can genuinely stop are these. The Sarah's Guardian. Oh, now the Pride Me. That is going to be a big problem. And I don't have enough to deal with it. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I don't have enough to deal with it. And I, I don't want to sacrifice a creature, but I have no other choice at this point. Look at all the things I can't cast or really aren't useful. Um gonna hold. Sure. He's gonna start getting his lifelink triggers off of for a Chinese Pride mate. Raw would be amazing right now. Oh, or another pride mate. Oh boy, is this game over. Now if he's smart, he just swings in with that 1-1 one, one lifelinker. Yep. I wouldn't attack with that pride mate. Oh, um, I'm going to kill the pride meat before it gains life. Aha! Very nice combat trick. That's a shame. I was going to block with one of these, and I should have. It's not going to save his pride, mate. Ah, <laughs> that will. I don't understand the oops. I mean, I don't... Maybe it's just me. Maybe I believe a little bit in sportsmanship. Maybe I believe a little bit in... Respect for your opponent, but I don't know what I do. Do you know? You know? Maybe it's just me.
No spells. No spells at all. Good game, because he is going to be this. <sighs> sure, he's going to make one of the prime mates flying. It's a good call. Nope. This one is way over. Well, that's a shame. I guess the uh, the deck building matchup didn't see white mono white uh, knife gain is too much of a concern. Well, at least we're doing red and blue spells for his. Let's play another. Game. What I'd love is I'd love if it played me against some like somebody else has to be playing the other planeswalker decks. You would think. Oh, that one went Trophac. Ooh, 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 ooh. I'll be able to get Raw in my hand. Oh no, this one isn't the one that gets Raw in my hand. Ooh, no spells. A, a deck that is built around casting spells. No spells. Ooh, say hello. I do at least curve. He's thinking about shocking it, aren't you? It's mono red burn, isn't it? Because you know that's a fair matchup. I'm actually really not sure what he's thinking about. Hmm. I told you. It didn't require that much thought. It really didn't. Oh, I see. Hmm. Guess I'm just gonna have to put. So it makes me wonder if this is a goblin deck. Dragon pick? Interesting. Sure, burn all your shots. Um. Hmm. Yeah, let's go here. I'm probably gonna lose that after recurring that, but I want to do that. Able to hold. I still need Raw to come out to be able for the to really be able to take advantage of this. Hmm. <laughs> Probably gonna direct current that thing. I'm gonna bet he's got a combat trick. So no, you can do your two damage. Hmm, great answer. Hmm, no, I like that better. Let's do some damage, since I know he's got a combat trick in his hand, he's waiting for me to make a mistake on. I'll do this whenever he leaves a creature behind. He's gonna get him with that combat trick in his hand, I can feel it. 
Uh, let's go here. I know he's got that combo trick in hand. I know what he wants to do. It's probably what is it? Sure strike that gives plus two, plus zero, and then gives him first strike because he thinks he's gonna get passed on me. Ooh, Spark Tundra! I love that card. Was that precision bolt? Sure was. Well placed precision bolt. Thank you. I need some help here. I'm gonna go ahead and take it, the opportunity to do the damage. Yeah, I'm gonna take that four in the face from here, but Precision Bolt's gonna come in and handle that for me. Much to be able to do it. I can deal with five. I can't deal with six. Hmm. How do I want to handle this? Well, first things first. We've got to do that. I think Oh, he killed my Argonauts. That's not cool. Oh wait a second, I've got the game right here. So yeah, I don't even need to do that. I need to go Two damage to any target. I'm gonna choose him. I'm gonna sacrifice this. I'm gonna say good game. I'm gonna tap this creature. Wait. Tap target creatures. Why is this not working? Oh, I have. Oh, it's it's the it's the discard. That's what it's working on. Look at that! I put off a win with a planeswalker stack. Well, we messed up on the mechanics, but I got a I got a win out of it. Oh ho ho! Look at all the stuff we pulled off for him. So he still needs red or green spells. Cool. We're at 24 minutes. We'll give it one more try. With the really, really surprised. Uh, like, I'd love to get Raw on. <laughs> it's the Raw Spineswalker deck. There's three ways to get the card on. <laughs> Haven't seen it yet. The Leapy Frog. Oh, should be interesting. Only two mana. That is a little concerning. 
Hmm. Well, that's an interesting glitch. Look at that. <laughs> that's kind of weird. Mm. Okay, let's see what happens. We will be a gentleman and say hello. Uh huh. I see you have a guild gate too. We've got almost the same deck. This is amusing to me. Now that's the trick though, he's got land. We, I wonder if he is playing the same deck that we are. Nope. <laughs> if this turns out that we're playing the same deck... Um... Hmm. No, I'll wait. So far, the contents have been the same. Maybe I got my wish. Maybe I am playing against another Planeswalker. He is! He's playing the same deck! Cheated, that'd be cool. Uh, I am willing to trade that for that. Hmm, which one annoys me more? The Argonaut. The Argonaut bothers me more. No, I'm good. Another mana would have been nice. He's playing the planes well. This is awesome. Um, sure, I'll trade. And then I'll catch one of my own. Really super surprised I'm not getting any more men out of here. He's definitely doing better on the mana than we are. I will give him that. Sure, let's see if he blocks. Okay, we'll even up that. Works for me. I was going to do that. And now I have to do it to you, sir. <laughs> this is an amazing mirror match against the Planeswalker. I'm so happy. I need to wait till he has a creature, and then I can go get raw. Oh, he quit! No! 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 That's majorly disappointing. I'm one more, one more, because there's a possibility that I'm gonna play against another planeswalker deck. Darn it! I want to try that again. That's such a shame. had the card in my hand that I could have gotten Raw. That's all I wanted to do to show off this deck is to have Raw out once. One time. Hmm. <laughs> Preview. Now that's an interesting name. 
I get the electro. There's two electromancers in this deck. I've gotten it in my hand every time. No blue mana though, so I will mulligan that one. No red mana. What is going on? Sure. Uh, no, I need mana. As cool as that would be, I need mana. Lanor Rose. Hey, neat. Look, a card I can't cast because I have no mana for it. I like the artwork in this one, too. The alt art is still kind of cool. Oh, boy. This could get scary. He looks like he's playing some sort of ramp. Hey, look. More mana. Nothing I can cast. He looks like he's playing the straight-up green starter deck. Oh. Hey, look, something I can cast. He's going to be a problem. You're going to rabid bite her, aren't you? Oh, Greenwood Sentinel, cool. Oh, I'll block here. He's probably going to... I was expecting something else. Hey. <laughs> what? <laughs> really? Maybe I should not play this game. Yep. Sort of was expecting that. Well, that's probably good. Oh, look! I actually got Rawl. I have no mana to cast him. <laughs> oh, the aggressive mana. That's a good game. I, I should have known better than to have taken the... Alright, I'm gonna give you one more. But that's super disappointing. It makes me wonder if I'd have kept the three red mana hand, if it would have done better. Probably not. That's incredibly disappointing. The one game, the one game where I actually get Raw in my hand, I can't use it. Well, at least I have two mana. Hmm. I guess I'll keep it. There's so much low curve stuff in this deck. Why I'm getting everything on the high end is beyond me. Hmm. Fascinating. That was interesting. Man, I would be nice. There's a ton of it in here. Love the lockets. No, you have first strike. Anytime now. Kind of waiting on you. Why two games of man complete mana screw? Like, I don't. It's beyond frustrating. Oh boy. That is going to be a problem.
Well, this game's gonna go really fast. He's got haste and travel. I'll take it for one turn, but that's... That is not gonna go well. It would be nice to get him out. At least he's an 08. Can take the beating. Love this. Love the card. Love the artwork on this card. This is some crazy stuff going on here. One man, and at least I have something that will block him. Hmm. It's one. Oh! Maybe we're still in the game. to hold back for blockers at this point. That's a problem. Luckily for me, I've got a response. No mana, but a response. Um, if I'm going to take anything out, I will take that out. Getting awfully low here. I need one more turn. I think the more important move is to make put the 3-3 three, three flyer to block his 2-2. Two, two. Like, I realize I can kill his 5-5, five, five, but at least I have it blocked for me. And he is going to get through. <laughs> well played, well played. Okay, so that's going to do it. I think we've uh, we've done enough damage that we possibly can for the uh, the raw planeswalkers deck. Um, one of the things I'm thinking about doing is doing upgrades to the planeswalker decks to kind of make them better, get a better idea what they're trying to do. So you might see those videos coming shortly. So do hope you enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe. It really does help the uh, help the channel out. And if you are so inclined, there is a Patreon as well. That is patreon.com slash oldguygamingmtga. Now, at the end of this video, you will see a, a short little video thanking my patrons because I do have one at the moment. And if you would like your name on that list, check out the patreon page one dollar a month that's all it takes and i'll be more than happy to it does help out the channel got me a brand new mic stand got me a brand new headphones not really those were christmas gifts but it would be nice whether well, one or the other don't feel inclined but if you do it'd be great uh until next time guys we will see you in the arena this video was brought to you in no small part by our patreon if you would like to help out the channel, go to www.patreon.com slash oldguygamingmtga and thank you for your support.